Right under the protective glass is a 17 inch uh, old monitor which I replaced the LED lighting because it was def deflective. This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, this time I will show you how to make a small virtual pinball cabinet consisting of a 17-inch monitor as a playfield and 10-inch tablet as a back glass. Even as a child I was impressed by these electromechanical devices and spent my last money to play on them. I accidentally came across a video explaining how to make how to make such a device but with the help of a monitors instead of mechanical parts. That was reason enough for me to immediately start planning to build such a device. Uh, my job is service specialist in an IT company, so I decide to make it from used or defective components so that the cost is minimal. Of course, it can be made from new components understandably at a higher cost. This time I will refer, I will refer to the hardware part and you can find out about the software on the many videos, forums and tutorials on the internet. Basically the device is an ordinary personal, personal computer with two monitors but built into a box that corresponds to the purpose. Uh, and now let's see what this cabinet consists of. The entire box is made of 8mm thick Mediapan wood panel which is painted with wood paint. Uh, this is a safety glass that is secured with aluminium slats. Right under the protective glass is a 17 inch uh, old monitor which I replaced the LED lighting because it was def deflective. The motherboard together with the processor and RAM memory was taken from my previous PC, which started very hard only in a heated room and the reason for that was capacitors with reduced capacity on the motherboard, so after I replaced them with new ones everything is ok. Uh, next, the graphic card is AMD RX 470 with 4GB RAM memory and I used to mine cryptocurrencies before. Uh, the SSD drive uh, is also from my old PC but it had a problem that sometimes it did, didn't work and it didn't show up in the BIOS at all. I slowed this by hitting it in the oven from 10 minutes at a temperature of 250 degrees and now it works great. Uh, now here is an interesting idea how to make the button control. Uh, instead, uh, instead of ex expensive specialized board for this purpose I use a simple cheap USB joystick 
uh, that cost only that cost me only five dollars. This is uh, this is his board. And in the places where the capa the contacts from the joysticks pressed, I connected the arcade buttons that are easily configured in the control panel uh, in the operating system and also in the pinball emulators. Uh, and of course, this is a used PC power supply that I replaced the electrolyted capacitors and it works perf perfectly fine now. Uh, Due to the compactness and proportionality of the whole device, instead of a classic back glass monitor, uh, I used my very old 10-inch quart tablet, which worked very slow, but for this purpose, uh, it turned out to be excellent. It is connected to a PC via USB cable, and it performs the function of a second monitor with the help of the excellent software Wired X display, which of the paid version cost only seven dollars on Play Store. Uh, here I have a small mechanical tilt switch that is also connected to the controller to perform this function. Uh, I also connected a small button in parallel with the tight tilt switch which is located close to the flipper button so it can also move the board with it, that is tilt, mechanical tilt. The sound is obtained, is obtained through this small uh, uh, D-class audio amplifier connected to a 3 watt speaker and the potentiometer serves to volume uh, regulation. Uh, buttons are robust, mechanically very resistant, and contain a switch that is easily replaceable. You can get uh, them online under the name Arcade Buttons. On the back there is a USB hub, power connector, as well as, as several buttons with various useful, useful functions like uh, power on, reset, tab tablet power, etc. As I mentioned before, this is a standard PC with installed special pinball emulator software. In my case, they are visual pinball and future pinball emulators. The buttons are mostly used to control the software, but I also use this little wireless keyboard mouse combo to set up some advanced functions. I should mention that a very useful option is the use of so-called front-end software, in my case Pinball, Pinball Y. Uh, so if we put this software in the startup of the operating system, the, we perform all controls only with the buttons. In order to use convenience, it is necessary to perform all the settings beforehand, which is not a very simple operation, especially for a beginner. But that's why there are many detailed video, videos and tutorials for these settings. Thank <laughs> you.